I'm gonna go over how to transfer your beer or rack your beer, as us home brewers call it. And you know, it's really something that's glanced over. You don't talk a whole lot about how you do it. You just say that you did it. Like I racked my beer to the secondary or I racked my beer to the carboy. But there's actually a few different ways to go about it. So I'm gonna cover three of the main ones and also three different pieces of equipment you can use to get the job done. All right, so I have a six gallon carboy here, plastic carboy with IADO4 in it. That's so you can see the liquid better. And this is gonna be my guinea pig for this demonstration. So the three pieces of equipment I mentioned. One, I'm not really gonna count. I'll talk about it real quick, but it's just a standard piece of vinyl tubing. And I hope you don't use this because it's a real pain in the butt to use. It always curls up and it's hard to put it right above the sediment in the bottom of the carboy. So I hope you've graduated past this. This next one is probably the most common piece of equipment for siphoning. It's just your standard oops, racking cane and vinyl tube. Next, this one's a little bit more creative. This is called a sterile siphon starter. And this one, another creative gadget, is called an auto siphon. So the racking cane, like I said, probably the most common way that people siphon. And there's a few ways to get this started. The old school way being the old suck on it method. You really just suck on the end of this hose and uh, the beer comes siphoning out. But I really don't recommend this because you have all kinds of nasty stuff in your mouth, bacteria and gunk and stuff that can really get into your beer and contaminate it and ruin it. So I know they say, you know, you could use Listerine or vodka and it'll kill everything in your mouth. I don't trust that. And I never recommend putting your mouth on the end of this hose. So I'll show you a better way to use the racking cane. Okay, so what I did was I filled this up with water and it's actually better to use a sanitizer, but I didn't have any extra laying around. But I put water in the hose, so what it's gonna do is empty the water out into a separate container and then that's gonna create suction which pulls the IADO4 through. And then once all the water is out, I'm gonna switch it over to my bottling bucket. So that method works, and I actually did use that method for a couple of years when I first started home brewing, but it's definitely not perfect. I know I got some I dough for in that first pot, which in real life would be beer, and we don't want to lose any beer. But it definitely takes some ninja moves to do that transfer just right. So I'm gonna move on now and talk about the next piece of equipment, the sterile siphon starter. Now we have the sterile siphon starter, and this is more of a recent gadget for me, but I'm really liking it. It's just like the racking cane and tube, except that it has this piece on it. And this is an orange rubber cap, and then it has this white sanitary filter. I'll give you a close-up of that. And so the way it works is, you position it on top of the neck of the carboy, or over the neck, and it'll form an airtight seal. And then you can adjust the racking cane up or down to wherever you want it, so you can put it right above the sediment. And then you blow it to the sanitary filter, and it'll force sanitized air into the carboy, and that pressure will cause the liquid to come back out through the racking cane, and you can siphon your beer, like this. And this is gonna be harder for me since I don't have a whole lot of liquid in here, but I'll give it a good hard blow. And there we go. So I really like this thing. I like how quick and easy it is. And also I like how you can position this racking cane and not have to hold it in place. So you put it right where you want it and it'll stay there. Uh, drawbacks of this, this only fits a five and six gallon carboy. So if I wanted one for my six and a half gallon glass carboys, I would need to buy a new orange cap. So that kind of sucks. Also, you can't use this for a bucket, obviously. And uh, besides that, you know, I, I like this thing. If you have a carboy, I recommend one of these. I'm a little bit skeptical about the sanitary filter, but that's mainly because I'm an anal home brewer. But so far, so good. Last but not least, we have the auto siphon. And the way this works, it actually has three parts to it. It has the hose, which is attached to a racking cane, and it goes in this cylindrical portion here. And there's actually on the bottom of this a little guard so it'll prevent uh, sediment from coming up into your racking cane. And the way it works is you just put it into the carboy or the bucket or whatever you're using and you just give it a couple of quick pumps and that gets it started. So it's really easy. I like that I can have the liquid level all the way down here and still get it started really easily. So if you lose your siphon down here, it's not hard to get it back. Uh, drawbacks. 
it's just got a few more pieces to it. You know, it's a lot more to fiddle with. And um, it's got some more nooks and crannies, so you got to really be good about sanitization. And I've also heard that some of these parts, like this gasket right here, uh, wears out over time. But so far, so good on mine. But this is my favorite way to siphon. All right, that's it. We got the racking cane, the sterile siphon starter, and the auto siphon. So tell me what you use, tell me how you siphon or transfer your beer, and I'll talk to you down in the comments. So cheers.